They just made the trophy event so much easier. Well, kinda. They added shipment back in and it makes everything easier. So today we're gonna be trying to unlock all the trophy rewards besides the trophy hunt master calling card. We'll be getting to that later though. And I don't know if I just have dementia or something, but I feel like they tweeted or put something out saying that they made it easier to get trophies, but I can't find it anywhere. So take that with a grain of salt. But we're gonna go through and try to unlock all this random stuff here, like the emblems, the calling cards, the loading screen, the charms, you know, all that good stuff. And while we're doing that, we're gonna be working on our intervention mastery challenges. Uh, I'm pretty close close to getting this done actually at least uh platinum yeah we're only six kills away and then we can work on polyatomic i don't know if i'll get all that done but we'll get close and for whatever reason it's saying that if i get all the masteries done for this i get the damascus forge charm which is in the damascus bundle uh i think that's a glitch but uh i guess we'll see if we get that done but anyways let's hop in and start racking up some trophies honestly with them putting this event out i thought it would be forever until we saw shipment again but i haven't even seen somebody on my team get a kill in this feed we joined a game in progress where everyone's getting stomped we'll have to bring this back and we also spawned in with three tokens done already. So maybe that is what I saw. Uh, it looks like we got a few extra tokens here. And we got those without even getting any kills. But I've already made my thoughts on this event known. I think the rewards are kind of lackluster. Like, I don't really want any of this stuff, but it's something to do. You know, it, it, you got to give them that. They're giving us something to grind out. Just wish it was uh, worth it. But COD just feels so stale at the moment. Like, uh, them adding in the lighthouse map was cool. I really only think it's playable on 10v10, 6v6s. It feels like I'm hunting for people on there. And then the, the night vision map is also, like, you know, cool. But it's literally only a night vision. And that gimmick kind of gets old after, like, a few games. I don't know, dude. They, they promised something like this will be the most supportive and innovative COD throughout its life cycle. And uh, it feels like after launch, they... They're kind of phoning it in. Oh, but we got our, our platinum challenge done. Let's go ahead and switch to polyatomic. Damn. That was a fast game. We were getting pummeled there from the second I joined. But actually, that's kind of good for us. If we join a game in progress and they're going to give us a few extra tokens to start out, we're just going to be flying through these. We'll be getting six tokens every like 10 minutes. And right now, I'm currently sitting at a, a nice 28 tokens. How many will we need to get through all these? Hold on. Let me pull out my handy dandy calculator. We need 240 tokens to get everything but the calling card. We got a lot to go. And I'm also surprised that they added in like a triple double XP weekend, like so early into this event and season. Normally they wait a little bit when stuff like this comes out, but maybe they're just trying to get player numbers up or something. Because it's also a free weekend too. Like people that just have Warzone can cop on and play shipment. Oh! All right, if there's one positive of grinding these out, it just gives me an excuse to run around with my throwing knife and my, uh, my intervention and just have some fun. And I'll stand by this no matter how many L's this game has, has brought with this season. You know, how, how disappointing it's been. The intervention's just been so much fun to use. This is like such a bright spot in this game. Even if it's not even like the best sniper out there, it's just so fun. There's one person on this team that I have not killed and got the token. There it is. Speak of the devil. Ooh. Gross. Oh. oh, come on. Give me that no scope just for the clip. Ooh. Nasty. Did I hit it? No, I did not. I think that'll be my goal today. Maybe try to hit a clip while I'm going for this. I always get like one or two nice shots and I die on like the third. It's almost like the camo curse, but the clip curse. And you know what? Now's a better time than any to double check and see if they fix the camos on this. Because when we were grinding this out, it was impossible to get a single headshot to register for this gun. And you only need 25 for these. And I went and I counted through the editing and I got 50. So we'll go ahead and give this thing a test and see if we can get some progress on it. There's a headshot. There's two of them. Three of them. Would have been four if we had a little more ammo. And now we'll wait until the end of the game and see if those counted. You gotta love when they only add two weapons into the game and you can only get one of them to the mastery camo. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I was really trying to bank the, the throwing knife off the floor so I could hit the riot shield guy underneath it. But it did not want to work for me. Ooh. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, that was, that was still pretty nice. Sometimes I can hit some clips while sniping. I'm a little bit of a, a dirty dog. Oh, that throwing knife hit. Oh, shit. Damn it.
Oh, come on. It's the curse of the three. Ooh, hit the assassination on him. <laughs> that was dirty. I even had my camos on there. Yeah, teabag his ass. Get him. That's got to be the finishing move from the black cell thing, because I have not seen that shit before. That's kind of nasty. Most overpriced finisher out there. Ooh. 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 I'm crazy with it. Oh. He's nasty. He's gross. Yeah, get out of here. Scared away. That VTOL wanted none of this. We had 74 kills that game. Not bad. It's gonna be some good progress for our weapon mastery. We are going so hard now the data centers aren't even here. Oh wait, it's loading. I, wh which one is it? That's the one. A little timeout. You gotta put me in the corner for doing so well. And did we even get headshot progress on this? No, who would have guessed it? And if we go over here to the weapons tab. What? It says I have four out of three camos needed for Orion. And it says I have a polyatomic for it, but it also says I have nothing. Which one is it? Make up your mind. Oh, quick scope the heli. Get the fuck out of here. Kill streaks fear me. Oh, come on. Oh, the shots are there. I just need to capitalize. Oh, that's a clat right there. I couldn't get the third. It's always the three. It's the curse. Oh, no. Hit the throwing knife there. Come on. Just 200 more. Whoopee. Oh, that should have been a clat. No. I'm out here getting robbed. Oh, and we're still going. Oh, now it's over. Damn it. Wish play of the game still existed in normal matchmaking. Even then, it would probably just go to somebody with a, a KV broadside playing with like one hand while they're eating Doritos with the other. We actually might get this polyatomic and probably halfway through Orion before we get enough tokens to get the rest of the shit in this event. Even with shipment, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, come on. No, oh, it wasn't bolted back and it fucked up my timing. That would have been crazy. Fuck it, throw a knife only. Oh, nice little triple there. There we go. Finally hit three in a row. Bars. Why do the servers suck so much penis? Oh, it's just actually not working. That's fun. Ooh. Oh, that could have been two clats back to back. It's never enough. I always need more. Oh, we're all done with the Bali Atomic Challenge. Would you look at that? It's taken us 300 something kills to just get what? 50 tokens, if that? I take everything back. This challenge is so painful. It's only slightly faster because of shipment now. It still takes forever. Oh, 69 tokens. Oh, 70. Come on. The fuck? Can't even let me enjoy that. Ooh. Oh, come on. Why were you sitting there with a knife? Just to fuck up my, my clip? Lick balls, dude. Now that we've made it to 100 tokens, I might as well start picking some of this stuff up. Uh, we'll, we'll grab the big name items first. We'll grab a gun screen that I have not used since, like, I don't know, the game came out. And we'll, we'll take up this weapon charm, too, and just work our way down. Man, all this work for shit I'm not going to use. I take it all back. Shipment is definitely not faster. 10v10s is, is still, like, the best way. The matches are about the same length. Uh, might be a little harder to actually get all the tokens fast enough, like, in the game. But you'll still end up getting 10, or at least more than 6, at least most of the time. 10v10s is the way. Shipment's fun, and I love that it's back, but I wish it was, uh... A little more efficient for these. All right, we're finally back up to 100 more trophies. Uh, I've been recording for a total of four hours now, but we can unlock some more useless stuff that I never wanted in the first place. We'll go ahead and grab this sticker. We'll grab this loading screen. And we're about 60 off from getting the rest. Actually, make that 45. 
I did not think it was going to take this long. But you know what? I wanted to get it done, and this is the price I got to pay. I cannot imagine going for the thousand trophies, though. This has got to take forever to do. Especially since you can't even leave the game once you have your trophies. You have to play through the entire thing to even get them. If you could leave the game, this would be exponentially faster. I would have shaved, you know, two hours off for this grind. But COD knows how to just throw stuff in there to keep up player retention. And they know nothing else is in this game for me to do. They got me handcuffed. And maybe I'm a little grumpy since I've been playing for this long. But I'm going to be a little hater-ass bitch. I feel like I've put the time in. I'm allowed to complain. And it's just what I love to do. Complaining's awesome. Complaining's fun. I like it. But, you know, to glass half full this whole thing, uh, I'm almost done with my weapon mastery for Orion here on the uh, intervention. So technically, all I really did was spend some time working on my weapon mastery and I, I got some bonuses out of it. Uh, a few little extras. At least that's one way of looking at it. Okay, I said glass half full, but let me, let me be a glass half empty guy one more time. You know, just to kind of put it into perspective, I think I probably could have gotten to like round 100 plus in Cold War and the amount of time it's taken to get these trophies. Now, I could be using a different gun. You know, I could be using something that's a little easier to get these kills with. But honestly, I don't think the gun matters as long as you're getting like the max amount of coins each time or tokens, whatever you want to call them. Because you still have to play out the whole game anyways to even get the tokens or the trophies. I don't even know the name of them. I've been doing it for this long. I could have done some rounds in Cold War Zombies instead of this. You know what? I'm committed. Oh, there we go. The Orion challenge is done. I honestly didn't think it would have taken me to get a thousand kills with the intervention or the, the thousand kills with the intervention would have been faster than getting 450 tokens or whatever that number was. Actually, 250 or 240. Whatever I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know. This is it, it feels like days ago and it's taken me this long to think that maybe if I had kill streaks on, I could have got the tokens a little faster as well instead of having to snipe each individual person. But I mean, we're already here. No point in changing it. Ooh, eat that wheat then, fucker. Oh, did it actually give me the Damascus Forge charm? Let's see. Do I have two of them now? Well, here's one of them. Yeah, I don't I don't even see it. I think I got scammed. All I only have is the combat knife. That's so lame. Here's the Vetsnev one. There isn't even one for the intervention. That's dumb. But I got it done. That's all done. Oh, and Shoot House. This could be our last game, assuming that we get all 10 tokens, because we're at 36. And crazy within these four, almost five hours I've been playing, this is my first time seeing Shoot House. And it's a game in progress with a VTOL already up. Just how I like it. There isn't a truer Shoot House experience. And what I was talking about earlier with them making it easier, how sometimes you get like tokens as you're going into a game. I'm starting to see more and more that that's probably just a visual glitch. So I thought you'd get it for just joining games in progress. Be like, okay, here's a few tokens since you joined in late. Maybe you won't be able to get them all. You know, it'd be nice of COD to do that, but I, I don't think that's a thing. Because this game's like over a quarter of the way into it, and I received zero tokens upon joining. So I don't know how this shit works. I got no idea. All I know is I'm going in and the intervention is my gun. I'm just two tokens away. Please, bro. Oh, one token away now. Now the question is, can I find one of the two people that I still haven't killed this game? It'd be cool if they added like something to the scoreboard. It'd be like, you have a token from this person. You have a token from this person. Like just a little token icon next to somebody who you've already gotten it from. It would be a nice little addition, but it's kind of a, a guessing game. I'm just hoping that uh, you kill the right person. Oh, there it is. Oh, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure we just needed nine. Ten was just to be safe. If we can get ten, fine. If we just need nine, also fine. I am just happy to be done for now. And that's game. Let's hope that we have enough. No way the data centers are about to fuck up. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. Please be enough. Exactly 45. So let's go ahead and grab the 30. Thank you. Um, I will enjoy my tank skin and I will just grab this calling card because I know I didn't need to get everything here, but I just want to do it. And eventually we will get this calling card too, but I don't got it in me. And for our efforts, we got this rose skin. That is really, really lame. This one from the battle pass or last season's battle pass is way better. Even this one's better. Like any of these are so much cooler than this. Damn, dude. Why did I do that? In conclusion, the trophy grind is super painful and I do not recommend spending all the time doing it. There's got to be a faster way to do it, but I'm just, you know, headstrong and going in and 
using the intervention in just normal multiplayer uh maybe like ground war or invasion or dmz or something's better uh for getting these trophies but i'm an idiot and i like to do dumb things and that's one of the dumb things that i do but we will be on a hell path towards that calling card i just wanted to have it at this point I, i'm too i'm too far in i'm too deep sunk cost fallacy all the way but uh thank you guys for watching i appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later